Okay, so here we go. Tally ho. Let's go shoot some down. Now, I'm playing arcade and I'm not playing tanks, and I'll explain to you why. I think the tanks are pretty good, don't get me wrong, but I don't think they, they completely inspire me to do much. I think oh, I probably need to get some just time with it. Do you know what I mean? I think at the moment my biggest challenge is um, re <laughs> remembering how to play this one to begin with. Um, it's oh, it's an odd game. It's just so engaging. It's uh, oh, just such a good game. Anyway, let's talk about it. So I think, to be honest, the the irony that this game has now come to PS4 is not irony. It's the wrong word. That sounded very rude. <laughs> the the uh, revelation, if you like, that it's come to PS4 is a great thing. Because I think it's kind of one of those games that really did port across quite well. Now, it's interesting because things like Planetside 2 are also coming um, across. Now, again, I'm surprised it's taken that long. Planetside 2, for quite some time, has, I think it's fair to say, been dying on uh, the, P the PC, rather. And I think it's not doing too well. Um, just as we shoot this dude here. No, I missed. Bugger. Oh, my God, he's got a gunner. Oh, no. The cannons beach. Wow, he's quite a good pilot, actually. He knows what he's doing. Um, and I think, yeah, things like Planet Side 2 would be good additions to the PS4. Which, again, has all, I've always had the issue that it's just really copying PC games. That's kind of been my issue with it for quite some time. Is that there's nothing necessarily new. I mean, there are a few things, don't get me wrong, but there's nothing kind of. There's nothing there that would make me go, wow, I want to go buy the PS4. Now, Destiny could potentially be that, but I'm not. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I see him. I see him. <laughs> yep, you saw him. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going for me then. <laughs> oh, this game, man, is so cool. Let's just try and preserve our cannon. Oh, yeah, that's right, son. Oh, look at that. This game, man. And I think this way, adding this to the PS4 makes a lot of sense because this is one hell of a game. I'm not too sure about the tanks bit yet, so I'm kind of I'm curious to see how that goes. Um, but I think definitely we're going to obviously have a look at that. I mean, Destiny is going to be the big one for me. I think Destiny is going to change this this whole console thing quite a bit. Oh, look at that! Yes, yeah, son. Yeah, that's what you get. I think that's just. Cannons, actually. I don't know. But anyway, so I think yeah, there's quite a bit yet for the PS4 to do. Um, Battlefield 4, I think, was supposed to be the big game for it, but it, it didn't quite hit. Battlefield 4, just generally. I, can, I couldn't tell you why. I, you know, I, I enjoy playing it like I enjoy playing Titanfall, but I don't play it anymore. And that tells me there's something not quite right with it. Oh, actually, everything's just jammed. Let me just pull back. So there's definitely something amiss. Um, with a lot of these games is they're just not keeping people playing them. Um, weirdly enough, Dust has kept me playing it and I couldn't tell you why. It's not it's not the best game by a long way, but I think, yeah, it's... I don't know. I couldn't tell you why. Um, I'm still playing it. I think it's just because there's something there that's engaging and fun. Um, to be honest, you know, Battlefield 4 didn't really have any guns that made me think, oh, that was amazing. Maybe the shotgun slightly. But again, that wasn't great either. Oh my god, that's deadly. Ooh, that was close. I don't like the, the head-on stuff. Because I always lose. There we go. I used to be a dead shot with this. Need to get used to it again. My cannons. My cannons are amazing. Ah, oh, run out again. <laughs> and I think really, you know, games like this are a great addition to the PS4. My biggest issue, I'd probably say is um, Planet Side 2 is almost too late. I think they've made that a bit too late. Because Planet Side 2 on the PC, oh my god, I'm getting shot, seems to be kind of, ooh, it seems to be kind of dying at the moment. So, I mean, there's still lots of people playing it, and I think having it on PS4 will revitalise it quite a bit, but yeah, I don't know. It just looks like it needs um, something else, another kind of game to, to set it alight somewhat um, but I don't know you know at the moment I think it's it's tricky to kind of see what the point of it would be so anyway in I don't even know how we started to get there but I think War Thunder is is a wonderful game if you're not playing it it's entirely free and it is pay to win yes I'm gonna fully hold my hands up to that but those people who pay to win end up in the higher leagues anyway so if you don't want to pay to win and you want to take it at your own pace, you're going to be okay because the game will look after you. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like pay-to-win done right. Whereas with Planet Side 2, which is exactly the same pay-to-win system, 
um, you can then immediately be stomping noobs from the get-go. So, you know, that it, it, that's the difference. There is a, a matchmaking <coughs> uh, tier system that I think keeps, you know, people apart. So that's definitely worth considering because it does mean that you get a bit of an easier ride. And I, I think I've probably put about maybe 30, 40 quid into this game because that's what I probably would have paid for it anyway. And I think I've got my money's worth, quite honestly. Oh, critical hit. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Look at that. Boom and zoom. Let's get some altitude again. Now, again, there is a whole mantra of playing this. There's uh, a guy we play with, Rem Duchat. I always get his name wrong, but Rem, basically. And he is a master at this game. Seriously, a master. Um, so if you ever get, if you ever see him or if you remember him from your R Dust times, if you're from Dust, um, hit him up on this game because he is bloody, oh crap, he's bloody good at it. And to be honest, he is um, well worth listening to because he, tell, he taught us all about boom and zoom, etc. And Nano's pretty good as well. Um, Josh is very good at this game as well. So, you know, if you see any of these dudes, hit him up. They're very approachable dudes and dudes, dudes. So, you know, give them a, a shout. Um, but I think definitely just this game is just such a great way to relax. There's very few games that make you truly relax. And I think this is definitely one of them. I'm not going to get, again, it's all about tactics. You think there's just a big battle going on. But look, I'm not going to get pulled into a swarm of them. And it's all about remaining quite high up in the air and the altitude. So there's a lot of, there's a very subtle kind of thing going on here. It's a very cleverly crafted game. As I look around me I'm realising I'm probably flying a bit too straight too long. As so there you go. We've got four people on this one P-47 now. That's the kind of flight you want to be in. And again, really it's just about drawing them close. So I see behind me there's a lot of dudes coming quite close. Um, and that, once you start to play in that level, that, that, that kind of capability of the game, you're going to see something very cool indeed. So there we go. Look, we all dealt with them. So now what we do is we kind of group up again. We gain some altitude, and it's all about boom and zoom, so we can then kind of you know, swoop down on somebody and kill them. If you understand these principles of the game, you'll do quite well at it. So there we go. Sergeant Cold is looking like he's kind of engaged. Oh, no, he's killed him. Damn, never mind. So we've got to be a bit careful. So there's one behind me here. Let's so you see him. He's been pulled away. So let's go for him. And here we do. As we boom and zoom, we're just going to go down. And then basically we can get... Oh, no, I pulled that up. So again, what we want to do is try and get some altitude. It's a very subtle game, you know. It's, it's more than just uh, YOLOing in and shooting dudes. There we go. There we go. A little bit of damage on him. But he got him. Air Cobras, they're pretty good. He's a good flyer. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. It's getting away, so I'm just going to disengage. So, you know, no one to run, no one to not fight. I need my cannons back online. This, these Spitfires are only really good because of the cannons. There we go. And we got our cannons back. Now, we've only got 120 shots. In fact, there's a guy behind me as well. Yep, there he is. So, again, beautiful, beautiful kind of tactics going on here. This is really nice. So here we go. Around this airfield, we've got three of them. And we've got, what, four of us now. So that's, in fact, five of us. So we're going to obviously have... The balance of power and if i look at these sh the things i think the spitfire to me is probably the most likely target so let's just get some fire into him critical hit bang he's in trouble keep a fire on him and he's down and i only get the assist gutted but anyway he's down that's the important bit and then let's get the air cobra in similar pressure as well again i've only got machine guns now not not the best armaments on this thing but it'll do you need the cannons pretty much. Oh, this game, man. This game. Love it. So I think definitely if you've got PS4, consider getting this. It should be free. And again, I don't know the commercial models of all these games. So I imagine they're free. You had to pay for Battlefield 4. Um, but I think this one is entirely free. Got ya! <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Oops, another one there. It's a yak. The yaks are pretty good. Oh, my cannons ran out. Damn. So we're doing all right, and again, I think we're going to lose, but again, that's not a problem because the matches are very quick. It doesn't matter if you win or lose as long as you're having a good fight, and that is, honest to God, I don't mean that as some trolly meme. That is actually the truth as I try and get my cannons on this. Got down the act. Oh. He's maneuverable, I'll give him that. Should have got some hits 
kind of thing. Yep, dead. We've got an assist at least. As we get a bit close to the ground. <laughs> so again, you know, there is a lot of team play going on here. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, let's see. There's, they're all a bit far away actually. There's two dudes here. Basically, look at the overview map. There's two dudes here. So let's go kill them. Black gold in a B50 to B25. So that's a bomber. And he's already on fire, so he's probably done. And then there's another B25, so let's go. Whoa, see that? Now that's cool. Let's get the B25 and damage. And cannons. Damn it, ran out. Should have reloaded, didn't think about it. So again, my machine guns aren't gonna do a great deal against that big plane. That's a very, very big, tough ship though, but as you can see, it's getting a lot of fire. Isn't that amazing? Guns jammed. There we go, we've got something back. We're getting hit, but not much. Whoa. Did you see that? Lovely. Isn't that amazing? This game is amazing. Oh, he's got a gun and shooting me. Let's be careful of that. He's running. My guns are just running out constantly. Oh, right, I'm overheating. That's probably not a good thing. Yeah, you can overheat now as well, so I need to be a bit careful of that. Right, guns. I think are back online, so let's go for this dude here. Yeah, I need to cool everything down. You see the temperature things? The oil and water is overheating, so let's be a bit careful here. I've got hit. Oh, he got me. Good shot. <laughs> Again, the pilot got completely taken out then. That's awesome. A pretty funky plane as well. Uh, let's try a Typhoon. Now, the Typhoons are pretty awesome because they don't have cannons. They're just all machine guns. And they just fire a flail of bullets. I think. Yep, there we go. Match is still going on. This is a long match. But I tell you what, it's a fun one. So there we go. Look at this Typhoon. Isn't that badass? Basically, just fires huge amounts of lead in the air. So let's see, who are we going to dive upon today? Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Let's go for... Mm. Oh, look at that, they're kind of, they're wiping us out. If that's sod it, let's just go for the win. Let's just go for it, who cares? YOLO man, let's go for that dude there. There you go, whatever that is. There's a lot of them there, that's, that's a P38, that's the one that shot me down actually. Let's see what I can do. Oh, close. That's a fast ship, isn't it? That ship is a fast plane. Some hits. Solid hits, good sirs. Got your bitch. Oh yeah, that's what you get for shooting my Spitfire down. Because I continue to pepper you. <laughs> oh, flipping out. There you go. Don't stay on the tail too long. <laughs> Ooh, close. Now again, cannons are everything in this game. If you, oh, hello, look at that, he's, he's landed. It's interesting. Aircraft destroyed. Oh, <laughs> kind of got that wrong. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> look, I can get out. I can go and have a sleep in the tent. There you go. This, this game, man, is brilliant. <laughs> Oh dear me. We used to do things like crashing into people and that, but we don't do it anymore, but you know, it's a bit, a bit stupid. But look at that, that's a pretty good gunning, bombery gun thing. In fact, let's just end with the welly. So I think that's my best welly there. Let's just go in. Because they can't really do much, sadly. Wellingtons are not great. In fact, bombers in this game are terrible. I wouldn't bother with them, I really wouldn't. Let's see what we can do. Let's just go in low. Oh, actually, looks like we're actually capturing everything again. That's pretty cool. There's nothing to actually bomb as well. So with my, my 4,000 pound bomb, as you see there, basically that's a like an oil drum filled with TNT. 4,000 pounds. So it's four tons of bomb, basically. Let's just go and drop it on something. Now our gunners we've got on this, we've got one at the front, one at the back, and two on the sides. And they're usually, I mean, they're fully maxed out as well, so they're not too bad. Uh, but having said that, we'll see. As we dive in. 
<laughs> I'm diving in a bomber. This is not going to end well. This, the irony of it is, is that you can be shot down in a bomber as well, like with three cannon shots. They just like they just punch the, the fuselage and take you out. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's bomb him. See if we can bomb him. Ah, oh, gutted. No, I should have thought about that. I could have dropped the bomb on him. <laughs> oh, <that's fun. laughs> no plane should be able to do this. <laughs> Oh dear me. Now there is something called the bow fighter that's actually a pretty good Oh there we go, look I survived. Bah damn right. Damn right. <laughs> so there we go, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.